nestled between the pages of KPD's history are the first African-American officers to ever serve the city. That actually starts back in, I believe, the 1870s. We were uh, one of the only five cities in the southeast that had black police officers, black firemen, black city councilmen. That includes the names of two of the earliest. And Moses Smith and A.B. Parker. It's between Moses and A.B. Jason Booker is a detective with KPD. He also serves as the curator of its museum. You know, we can't, we can't grow, we can't get any better unless we know where we came from. Part of his job is to share that history with new recruits. Stories about people like the first black detective. That was Ernest Scruggs. And what his work meant to the community. Detective Scruggs actually came on in 1914. So he was actually with us for five years before the, um, the race ride 1919 actually happened. But there's another story he likes to share. I spent a ton of time on Officer Mason. Mason was born sometime in the 1840s. Officer Mason was actually born a slave. Before being an officer, he bought his own freedom and was working to buy his wife's when slavery was abolished. Newspaper clippings say Mason went on to open a school for deaf children. You know, he just, he went above and beyond. A man he doesn't want them to forget. There's people in our history that you want to that you want to mimic, and James Mason is actually one of those guys. While their experiences in a time period that didn't allow for much equality was hard, Booker says we have to share their hardship nonetheless. Can't, even if we don't talk about it, it happened. Yeah. And so not talking about it doesn't do anybody any good.